get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm very excited. We have Ryan Lee, who I consider actually one of my early internet mentors. You may not know that. He's founder of Freedom.com, F-R-E-E-D-Y-M.com, which is a Netflix for lifestyle entrepreneurship. He's a former recreational therapist, gym teacher, and personal trainer. And in 1999, he started an online fitness business while living in his parents' basement and grew it into an empire that did seven figures per month. More importantly, what I see with Ryan is, um, you know, many people he's mentored have gone on to do even bigger things. Uh, So Ryan, thank you so much for joining me. Jeremy, I am excited to be here. We're going to have a lot of fun. You know, since it's Inspired Insider, Ryan, I always like to ask the lowest point um, for you business-wise and how you push through. Um, lowest point business-wise. You know, a couple of years ago, I, I, I did something that was – probably I shouldn't have done it. I was doing a I, – I, there was a trainer that I knew. And I'm not going to say his name, but yeah. he worked with a very famous – TV personality too. And I figured because of that, and I like this trader, he's energetic. I'm like, because of that, I think we could build a whole platform around him. And I partnered with, with a guy who was one of my clients who's a really great traffic guy. And we spent, man, we probably spent each almost 100000 Wow. on the stuff. And we spent like 10 grand with programming and then it didn't work. So we had to start over. And we, for like two, two and a half years, and then I brought on two guys. I said, look, come on as free interns. And then w- once we start making money, you'll get paid. And I just, I couldn't get the damn thing to convert. Um, Why and do I you think? Felt, first of all, this, this celebrity person started getting some bad press. So I think that hurt it. People didn't want to promote it. Um, I don't know. We just could it, it was – the copy was outside of my – it was, it was more in the CPA network, which is cost per action, which is a little bit hypier um, – it was the, the a psych- different copy the, style type of thing. The very, very flashy, very aggressive, very hypey, lose ten pounds in ten days type of stuff. It just never felt really comfortable, yeah. and I feel really badly because this guy was this trainer is a great guy, young kids and was really depending on it, and it just yeah. you know, he had a big book deal, and he said with the book he got this big book deal because he said oh we're gonna get so many leads with this, and I just I feel like I let him down, I let my partner down, I let the other people down, and I just that was a that was a tough that was a a bitter pill to swallow because I'm like, oh, yeah. here I am, Ryan Lee. I could do anything, and uh, I, it was I. What I learned from that, and that was another thing that kind of pushed me into freedom, is like enough of this. Like enough of too chasing. Too complicated. Too complicated. G- getting a few things removed from where my real thing is, um, and I just I'm like, I can't I can't do that again. And I, I let too many people down, so I'm like, I'm not taking up partners again. I'm not. That was my last partnership. I'm never gonna have a partner again. If I'm doing it, I'm doing it my way, the way I know is gonna work. What I'm good at, and I'll bring on team members, and I'll I'll make them part of the team. But I'm not partnering in and dropping the ball and taking on too much anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the flip side, the proudest moment. What's been one of the proudest business moments for you? Um, it's a great question. Well, I mean, look, financially, it was cool with with our supplement company when we hit like seven figures in a month. Yeah, That's I want to hear about the supplement company. I have yeah. that written down here. You know, most people don't ask about it. Most people don't even know you do that or did that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I really don't talk about it too much. Yeah. I don't love to Why talk is that? about it too much. Because, um, you know, I started the first, so we have a couple of them. The first one I started as more of a back end for fitness professionals. Uh, and it went really, really well. We were yeah. the back end for all these big guys online. It's amazing, uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but me and so my so I took on, um, I had a guy that was one of my clients. I made him a partner. And, we didn't always agree with the direction. They kind of wanted to spend a lot of money and time on, on the research and clinical studies. Where I'm like, we need to put it back in marketing. I wasn't always present. I dropped the ball. I wasn't fully engaged. So I got a lot of people on. We did really well. But other tra- there was a, one of our top trainers left and competed directly against us, took all our main guys. Wow. 
because he would do things and say things that we wouldn't say and do, right. make promises and, you know. It's cutthroat. Gonna, it's pretty cutthroat. Oh, it's, it's very, it's, and that's what it is. It's a cutthroat business. So I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I, I don't, so I'm not, I'm never starting another supplement company. Um, right now we're, we're, we're working on exit plans for me. So um, some things I can't, I can, some things I can't talk about. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was, it was a good experience. Um, made, made. Some, had some big wins, had some big losses, learned a lot, learned that there's a lot of people who are going to say one thing and do another, uh, yeah. learned that you, I'm a trusting person. Yeah, yeah. But Naturally, you'll trust. You, yeah. you, you, here's what it taught me, that you can't rely on other people to generate your business because we were, that first model, we were really an affiliate-driven business. Yeah, yeah. And we relied almost 100% on them. Yeah. And once they stopped promoting, we're like, now what? Um, that's why I'm like, we need to learn paid traffic. Yeah. We need to, need to generate our own customers. When you yeah. can do that, you become independent. You could do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. Yeah. That it's, was it's scary, even if it's not an affiliate or if you're on a platform that's producing customers, like Amazon yeah. or whatever, you still don't have control. Right. Even with, uh, and I like Kindle. Um, and I was a big fan at the beginning. But what happened is it became so flooded that now if you had, because it's so common, like a paleo cookbook, right? There's 5,000 paleo cookbooks. Right. And now, because, the, because there's so much, so much competition, the price is that now they all sell for 99 cents. You know, Amazon takes 30 cents. So you, you get like 75 cents. How many are you going to sell? The problem is there's not enough profit. Right, right, you, yeah. you don't get the customer name. There's not enough profit for you to go out and buy customers, so you're kind of just sitting back yeah. waiting for. And yeah, it's some passive money, and it's, and some people, if you if you create a lot enough of them, a couple hundred, couple thousand bucks a month, absolutely. But it's changed. Yeah. So, I will not I will not do something now where I can't generate my own customers. Yeah. So Ryan, you go from you know in that in that business, the nutritional business, seven figures in a in a month, um, and you had told your wife, listen, I'm not going to be making more than forty thousand dollars. What's the feeling? That, that was like a proud moment, even though right now you don't love the business, but you know <laughs> it's still um, pretty remarkable what you did with it. Yeah. What were you uh, thinking at the time? What uh, what was going through your head when you did the seven figures in one month? Like wow, <laughs> just I I still couldn't believe it. I'm like I can't now. Look, the I, it wasn't like seven figures in my pocket. Right. I understand. Right? Yeah. Um, but it was still a lot of money. Yeah. Um, I. How do you celebrate now with wins? You know, here's the thing. Like, I, I, I I've never really been all about the money. Like, I've just, I don't know why. I, I don't know why it is. Um, I've never. It's for me. It's always been more about the excitement of starting something new and starting a business, okay. and and it's it's more about oh that was a cool platform, but I I don't. Even it like had, comes and it passes. It doesn't, yeah. I, yeah, I, I because here's the thing. I, I, Jeremy, when I say I don't spend any money on myself, I don't spend any. I don't buy anything. This is a strip. My wife, when we went skiing, ski butternut. Like you know, I'm wearing, I'm wearing you know shorts. I'm barefoot. Like I, I, I don't care. I, I could care less. Yeah. I've never, I've never been motivated by the money and the commercial stuff. It never, it never mattered to me whether. I was happy when I was making twenty six grand at the hospital. Yeah, and I, I'm happy if I'm making you know twenty six grand in a day. It, I don't know. I, I yeah. didn't go out and celebrate. I didn't buy anything special. Although it was the one thing that was pretty cool because again, I, I do like to save. I'm conservative. Is when I went to get a, a, a different car and I'm, my wife's like, "Oh, why don't you get a Range Rover?" I'm like, "I don't care. I'll, I'll, I want to drive my Honda. So just get a Range." So I went in and just like, you know, I look young. Um, I look younger than I am. I think some people tell me that I'm, I'm about to be. 44. I agree with that. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. My forties. Um, and I come in, and this, you know, you can tell this guy kind of thinks I'm like, oh, he's this young guy. And uh, I'm like, God, right, I'll take that one. He's like, All right, well, do we need five? I'm like, No, no, I'll just. How much is it? I'll just write a check. He's like, What? Um, and just writing a check, yeah. you know, no lease, no nothing. Just here's a check. Here you go. Give me the keys. And just driving out ten minutes later yeah. with a Range Rover was yeah. pretty cool. That was pretty cool. It's a freedom um, moment for sure. Yeah, but. Yeah. Um, you know, we have our house is, is big enough for us. It's fine. We got property. We got privacy. We're in a great town, great schools. Um, yeah. I, yeah, I, I'm, if you're not, you know, I've learned long ago that if you're not happy 
if, if you're not happy without money, you won't be happy with money. It yeah. just it just exaggerates who you are. Yeah. Who you are. So I've always been happy without money. I'm happy with money. If I lose it all, I'm still yeah. happy. Yeah. As long as I ha- really, Jeremy, as long as I guess maybe working all those years at the hospital really had a, a profound impact on me. Because as long as you know my, Perspective, my yeah. happy, yeah. as long as my kids are happy and healthy, I'm good. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care about the car. I don't care about anything. Yeah. So speaking just, of yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. No, that's it. You know, speaking of the. Uh, you know, talk about the frugalness, right? So most people, you know, there's $25,000 masterminds and you're in a $25 mastermind. <laughs> How did that start? How did you meet Brian Kurtz? Um, I became friends years ago with Michael Fishman. Yeah. Uh, who runs a consumer health summit. And we, we would chat and we'd have lunch a couple of times. And he's like, oh, you got to meet Brian Kurtz. Such a great guy. And then I remember we went to Michael's house and Brian came over and we just hit it off right away. Yeah. And I knew Jim Quick was a guy who lived in Stanford as well. And I was sitting with Michael once. I said, why don't we form a little mastermind? Right. Just local guys, me, you, Brian, and Jim. And we'll meet you know, every, every couple months and that's it. And that was how it formed. Yeah. And I came up with the whole $25 where you know, <laughs> Joe Polish has his 25K group. I'm like, Brian, he try- first of all, I'm never spending $25,000 for anything. Um, and let alone, fly- and I told Joe this all the time, there's zero chance of me. He, I'm, in, I'm in Connecticut. He's on the other side of the country in Arizona. Right. I said there's zero chance, first of all, that I'm paying 25 grand. And second, that I'm flying out there three, four times a year. Just, it's never go- Joe, it's never going to happen. Um, so we had there. So our take is 25 bucks because that's probably right. what it costs for us to each put in for like, you know, breakfast. Bagels, um, yeah. Bagels, yeah. Um, although they, be called, they all became gluten-free. So that was the idea behind <laughs> You're it. Right. Um, but now that Jim and Brian moved to the West Coast, it kind of we do some Skype once in a while. But I am forming another group with with a few other guys. Um, no one knows about this. I'm not revealing their names. Very, very well known and successful. Two are in New York City. One is near me in Connecticut. Um, but at, you know, two in Connecticut, two in New York. There's five of us. And uh, the idea was though it was all guys, uh, and you know, in the, the well, I think we're all in the 40s. Uh, or, or late 30s or early 40s, yeah. and we all have kids. So it's something, and I called it, what did I, I love coming up with these names. I think I called it Super Dads or something, the Super Dad Mastermind, where it's because it, we're, we're all in the same boat, we're, and it's all about priorities because one of the guys in this group used to be in a mastermind with some very well known internet marketers. I won't say their name, right. but, and it was three others and him, and he was the only one who had a kid, and they were all single. Yeah, and they're you know flying a off a little to different here. lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, oh, I'm going to go to Asia and speak for a week. I'm gonna, and we're like, and he's like, I can't do that. Like it was a lot of stuff they do and say. It's different when you have kids. You know, right. you're you're sure. you're, a dad, you're family. Yeah. So um, yeah. it's it's five of us. We're all dads. We're all in the same boat. So that's kind of cool. So I I'm a big fan of forming. What's the best thing that came out of the twenty five dollar mastermind that you remember? Uh, like a big breakthrough someone had. Um. Well. There's been one or two, but you know, unfortunately, I don't want to. I don't want to hold things back, but I can't. Yeah, no, that's cool. We, yeah, we, if it's not you, always, you can't talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, we always say that whatever happens in twenty five dollars stays in twenty. <laughs> so it's like Vegas. Yeah, that's, exactly. So I, I can't out other people. What about um, for you? Any any um. For, for, for because, me, because I know you know what's interesting about that peer group is you really hold each other accountable. So I'm sure yeah. they. Yeah. They really hold you to the fire too. They do. Um, and now, because I, I was the guy that every month I come there, I'd come up with a different, this is it, this is what I'm doing, and then the next month it was something else. So I feel like such a hypocrite because I said, now this is what I'm doing, and if I come back to them and say, I'm not doing it anymore, they'll be like, Ryan, what do you, you said you're going to focus on it. So it does, it, it really holds my feet to the fire and holds me accountable. Yeah. So I, I'm grateful for them, and we, we've all become such good friends. Yeah. They're like, they're like brothers. So, Ryan, I appreciate your time. This has been awesome. I have one last question. Um, before I ask it, where should people check out online? They should just go to freedom.com, yeah, F-R-E-E-D-Y-M. Uh, you can go to ryanlee.com as well. Get on my list. I also um, I update it. I, I email almost every day. You're going to get lots of tactics. You're going to get some stories. You're going to get some fun. Um, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash ryanleefan. I do some unannounced live Facebook uh, Q&A. So uh, come on yeah, in. Yeah. We'll have some fun. So last question, Ryan, um, some ideas you can give away that you're not going to be able to execute on because you're focused on freedom. What are some, because you're always an idea person. You're always coming out with great ideas. I'm wondering what are a few right now that you're like, this is going to be big. I don't have time for it, but if someone were just to do this, this would be awesome. Um, 
Well, Eddie. there's one. The one that I was working on this morning is big, but I'm not giving that away because I think I'm. Gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> no way, no way. Uh, you know, I do execute on a lot of stuff. Uh, I, I'll I'll say this. Okay, the, the model yeah. that I'm doing this whole Netflix thing. Yeah. Um, there's opportunities in many many markets yeah. for that. There's yeah. opportunities. There's opportunities to go into any right market yeah. and just stop. There really is. Yeah, because I ask because you are you see trends. I mean, you do trends before, yeah. like the continue. I mean, you name it. You've been doing it, and then it kind of grows from there. So I'm just wondering what you saw as yeah. big. Uh, I, I, I look. I, I think the the big thing is is with the email, with the communication, is getting away from trying to sell so hard and doing these short daily educational edutainment type things. Yeah. Building the, the the relationships um, and offering a really soft sell on the back, especially some type of recurring revenue. Yeah. Um, I see print newsletters. I think they're going to make a comeback. Print newsletters. Yeah, I think print newsletters are going to make a comeback. I think there's 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 going to be a segment of the market that's like they don't want to be online all the time. Yeah. 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 The millennials are like oh everyone millennial, but I'm telling you, there's still if you go to the beach, you go to the, there's still people reading stuff. There's still something about getting it in the mail, and now it's yeah. so special, so different. I think the people who understand that uh, are going to have some. There's going to be some fun things to play with. Yeah. I'm looking to do some fun things. Yeah, Ryan, thank you, and thank you. You are part of the reason responsible for the name Inspired Insider through our coaching session. So I remember, you know, I remember you and I spending four or five sessions go, going back and forth with names. Yes, I remember that. So, so, uh, so I'm, I'm glad, and it's so cool to see what you're doing and all the great yeah. stuff. So keep up the yeah. great work. Yeah, and thanks for having me. It was my everyone honor. check out freedom with a y dot com. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, Jeremy. Peaches, you find the same right now. I'm feeling like a hundred grand.